Let's get down to discussing a very important topic that we really catch your attention and you need to actually pay closer attention to whatever we're going to be talking about on the show today. Now, in, today, in today's day and age, social media has a large influence on how individuals in society live their everyday lives. If you walk in a room full of kids on their phones, chances are that most will be on social media like Instagram, TikTok, or Snapchat. Within this social media platform are self-defined influencers who post content, whether they be videos or photographs. The fabricated portrayers make way for societal issues where social media users are conditioned that these unrealistic depictions of influencers are the standard for everyday life by social media as a platform. These expectations place immense pressure on individuals to manufacture a virtual identity that conforms to the standards of the Instagram community. To give us fresh perspective into this and to have this conversation, I'm now being joined live in our studio by um, the Executive Director of Center for Individual and Child Development, Chizoba Akune. Chizoba, good morning. Glad good to have morning. you join me on the program today. Yes, nice having you also. Let's get talking now. Mm. You said something while we were offset. <laughs> <laughs> I want to cast you. <laughs> I want to cast you. <laughs> you said you don't like the paparazzi kind of I life. I didn't say I didn't like it. I you said, said, I, said I need to learn okay, it. Okay, you need to learn it. No, I said, I, you, no, I, said you, I need to, to learn, learn it. it. Yes. Like, for example, mm, you know, mm. as I'm getting down, somebody is videoing me, mm. and then they are bringing... And then my makeup artist will come very early, so I don't know which time I'll be using to work. Okay. So so maybe I won't go to, I won't work this morning. <laughs> the, the makeup artist, you know, then a makeup artist will come, mm. I'll do my makeup, mm. they use the, mm. the phone yeah. uh, and the lights mm. to follow me in and then they video it and then they edit it and then I post it as content on my page. So that means that I'll be having, since I have like uh, media, I have like about three, four uh, media outings a week. Mm. So my page will be booming, booming. bustling. And then, with all of these, you're maintaining your steez. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, 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 but it's okay. It's, no, yeah. no, no, it's okay. But, yeah, it's okay. Nah, but it's in, okay. In, in all of this now, mm. in, in realistic term now, in all of this, how realistic is this to the average Nigerians who are watching, who don't really see the behind the scene kind of life? Okay, so I'll say that number one, the, the issue, the, this is actually a mental health issue. Okay. And um, that's what a lot of people do not understand. And why I say it's a mental health issue is that most times because of um, childhood hurts, childhood traumas, there is this tendency to want to conform, mm. not just conform, but to paint a picture that people feel that you are doing well, even when you're not doing well. Mm. And really, that's a disorder. That's, that's really a disorder. Really? That, yes, that a lot of us should begin to look into. Because, yes, I understand the concept of packaging, and that's why, um, yeah, with our joke that we started mm -hmm. with, mm -hmm. yes, it's okay to have a brand, it's okay to have a brand identity, it's okay to package it, you know, some people say, mm -hmm. whatever, whatever, mm -hmm. for the content, it's mm -hmm. okay. But the issue is this that shouldn't be your standard of how you should live or how you should act. You should be able to have identified your true self. You must have been able to have a consciousness of who you are. Mm. You should be able to understand that your self-worth and your self-value is not dictated by Instagram. Mm. Like, I've had a lot of young people, right, who are going into depression, who are going into um, a lot of mental health issues because they feel that they are not measuring up to their counterparts on social media. Mm. I've had to sit down with a lot of them to say, okay, even though I wouldn't want to do this, but let's bring this person out and let's begin to dissect what does this person do mm. to afford this lifestyle. Mm. And then by the time we begin to do the calculations, I begin to ask them that, see, I begin to call prominent women who are doing well in the society. And I said, and I asked them, can this person buy a baking bag? Mm. 
Is it Beckenberg, whatever they call it? Whatever it, back. it is, they call yeah. it. <laughs> and then, can this person afford this? Can this person afford that? And they say yes. Say, can the person be buying it the way they buy it on social media? The way you come and say, I'm buying it today, mm. I'm buying it tomorrow. Mm. Can this person do this? Mm. And they, they're like, ah, no, our money will finish. And I'm like, okay, so this person that you want to make your role model, do you want to pattern your life after her? What's her life vision? What's his life vision? What is ambi what, what, what's his goal? Mm. See, I'll always say it, and I know that, yes, it may sound old school, but don't worry, I'm a millennial, I'm not a Gen Z. <laughs> exactly. Mm. But I'll always say this. It's better to have um, an iPhone that is not the latest iPhone, and you have data and um, airtime on it, than to have the latest iPhone, and then you don't have data, you don't have credit, you're, you're, you're walking around with it, and then... And then you're looking for people that will, you're looking you for people that will help you subscribe. Also oh, no, 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 I want the worst one is that you go and buy a pack. I, I saw that, you know, there's this... You can buy these casings that mm. have to do that looks like the latest, and then you put it on a phone that is not the latest. And, 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 and then you, you're, you're using all your money to enter Uber's and... Uber, Uber cost in has quotes, gone up. In quotes, like, that's the fake life. It doesn't make sense. But I want to ask this question. Honestly speaking, when I see people live this kind of life, the question I ask myself, which I'm going to, which I'm throwing at you, is mm. why do they have to fake it to make it look real to us? Why? Exactly, and that's why I began to say that it's a mental health issue. Do they really see this as a mental health issue? They do not know it's a mental health issue. And that's why awareness is very important mm. when you talk about social media. Now, to them, they feel that I want to live up to a standard, even mm. though that standard is unrealistic. Mm. Now, the truth of the matter is a lot of people that, like, for example, let me use um, the, the content creators that do food and all. The truth of the matter is they don't go out every day. Mm. You, you go out every day. They, the content that they are making, that makeup that they are doing, that camera, that everything that they are shooting, they don't shoot every day. Okay. If they want to shoot, they can do different dishes. You know, change their clothes, change their clothes, change their clothes, do different dishes. One day, different so it's content. One day, different content that will last them. Hmm. And so they spread the, the, the content over, over time. They can be that spread over one week, they can spread it over one month. You. Hmm. You are not doing content. Hmm. <laughs> you are not doing anything. Hmm. And then you want to have a perception so that people would think that you are doing well. You are a helper of destiny. I think, let me put it this way. No, no, you know why? Because tell a lot of people don't them. understand yeah, this thing. Tell them. You are a helper of destiny. Who is supposed to help you take your CV to a particular company? Or who is supposed to help you if you, have, if you if you're into sales, if you have a product that you're selling? Who's supposed to take it? Christmas is coming around. Mm -hmm. Companies will do hamper. Companies yes. will give out gifts. Yes. You are into printing or you're doing whatever. The person that's supposed to help you take it to go and give a company to say, please help this person. Mm. Let her supply. Let mm. him supply. Mm. You're looking too big. You are doing too much. You are even going to enter fake airplane to take pictures. You have one of this name. Say, this person is enjoying more than me. Mm. And the person wouldn't help me. So why, so why don't you calm down? And instead, ask yourself, okay, who am I? Who am I? Like, when you take about all these things, sit in quietness and begin the process of self-rediscovery. Mm. Find out who you are. Find out your, your, your core values. Mm. Find out, I don't want to say purpose because they've hit this purpose and purpose exactly. and purpose thing. It, it's, but not becoming a it's now becoming a cliche. But find out who you are. Find out what exactly it is that I want to play in. See, and I will always say, please give yourself an Instagram break. Hmm. Give, give yourself a TikTok break. Go off social media. Do social media fasting. Hmm. At least, they just finished a, a round of fasting. Now, some Christians, <laughs> Muslims, yeah. everybody just finished fasting. Mm -hmm. You do your own fasting. Give yourself social media fasting, social media break. Because these things, they are preying on your insecurities that you do not know that you have. Very your true. childhood wounds and traumas that you do not know. know you do not maybe realize that you have or you know you have it but you've not sat down to seek therapy hmm. to seek um closure you've not sat down to do all those things and then all of a sudden you're seeing it's an addiction hmm. you're seeing something that is going to make you feel good and then it makes you feel good for a little moment yeah. because you have yeah. 10 likes yeah. 200 likes yeah. and all and then the moment you post see let me tell you how you know that this thing is a problem when you post my phone is here when you post and you're every time you're checking mm. how many people mm. like it liked it how yeah. many people 
mm. commented. Mm. How many people Share. saw it? Mm. How many people shared it? In fact, now Instagram has even made it better. Once you're in the content, once you um your page is business or I think content, once it's not personal, sure, you can get to see your algorithms, mm. right? So you now go and check how many play, how many this, how many of my subscriber, how many no that's too much stress on it. Tone. So tell me, you're not a content creator. You're not a social media manager. You're just a regular person. I want to ask you this question now. In a world, in this world of uh, content creators, social media influencers now, before now, we used to see the likes of Wole Show in as role models, the likes of Ibuku um, 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 as role models, and to mention but a few. But now, we are now seeing celebrities now as role models. I'm, I'm, I'm bringing this home to the age grab of the Gen Zs and the Millennials. A little bit the of the millennials, millennials are actually the ones that are the content creator now. Mm. The yes, the Gen Zs are actually looking up to them. <laughs> now, up I, I, to the, them. the question now is, the question now is, oh, do God. you actually meet up to that standard to be actually be called role models? See, I will not draw aspirations uh, on anybody, right? But I will say that... But let's call it spade by its I, name. And I'm going to call it spade a spade and not a family implement. Good. Right. So I'm going to say this. Um, it depends on what you want. Your role model depends on what, what you want. Hmm. Is the person doing what you want? Is the person going the way you're going? Is the person's life goals suiting your life goals? And I don't forget that. I know a lot of people say, no, leave them. They let them do it. When they are old, they won't have issues. See, as long as you plan your life well and um, you do not um, later in life go low, low, low below mm. your standard, it's fine. Whoever you want to be your role model, the person can be your role model. But I'll ask you, that person that is your role model, is your life, th that person's life, do you want to live the exact lifestyle? And if you want to make somebody your role model, find out what the person is doing, how the person did it. If the person has a book, buy it. Hmm. If there's any information about the person on media, whether true, whether false, whether fake, because in every room there's an element of truth. truth in it, yeah. Pack everything, sit down, read it, ask yourself, do I want this kind of lifestyle? If you want it, fine. The world is evolving. Yes. We are in the digital age. Yes. Whether we like it or not, the normal role models that we have, a lot of people wouldn't see them as role models, right? Because they want the glitz, they want the steeds, yeah. they want everything. So whatever you want to do, do. But I'll just say, find out who you are. Find out what you want. And then find out everything about whoever that person is. Because I've had to do this with some teenagers. I've had to do this with some young adults. And by the time we were done dissecting, because I, there was one particular one. It was a serious addiction she had with a particular... Um, if, is a person influencer. an influencer? I don't know whether the person is an influencer, but the person is quite popular on Instagram. And so what I had to do was I had to sit her down to break. I said, okay, let's start checking everything about this person. Mm. And by the time we check, 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 I just noticed one day that uh, when I was asking about the person, everything has gone low. The person is no more the room with there. I said, mm. thank God. Mm. <laughs> so my own is rediscover yourself mm. and uh, find out where they are carrying you. Don't be going to where you don't know. You follow, mm. follow, follow. Don't they follow you, they go. Now, let's talk about social media now. Our social media done a lot of good, a lot of harm than good. Looking at the, 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 the essence, why it was created. Okay, I'm going to say that for everything, there is a positive and there's a negative side. Yeah. It's just like money. Mm. Money takes on the character of whoever is in possession of it. So if a good person is in possession of money, what happens? The person does a lot of philanthropic um, work. The person does a lot of good things and all. If um, somebody that has a bad character, somebody whose character is um, questionable, is in contact with money, money takes on that person's character. In the same way, social media takes on the character of whoever the user is. Hmm. 
And one thing I will say is that everybody needs to leverage on technology. Yes. Everybody. You need to leverage on technology because <laughs> that's the new age we are. It's either you level up or you go obsolete. Exactly. Choose one. You but go I'll, hard or you go home. Exactly. So, but I will say that what you have to do basically is this. Social media is a good tool. It's a good tool to amplify your voice. It's a good tool to amplify your product. It's, a, it's even an easier way for you to get known. I, I can just remember a long, like some years back, you had, there, there, were, there were lots of cues around TV stations, around radio stations, mm -hmm. around newspapers, because I, I need to get my story told. I need to do this. I need to do that. But now you have your TV. With ease. With ease. You have everything to amplify your voice with ease. And I'll say that it, that's, it's a good tool right it's a good tool but it takes on the person that personality of whoever is using it part-time mm. but the issue is when you're using it wrongly just like anything that is good you can go too far away and get addicted to it and it's that addiction that becomes a problem how do you know you're addicted to it you're always on your phone you're always checking your likes you're always and they check you're fooling <laughs> let me not talk too much <laughs> We, we, we cannot but just talk about it, Chizo, but we cannot but just talk about it. But the truth is, the truth is, most of these Gen Zs, I believe some of them are at home now because uh, because of this cholera, um, cholera outbreak. Some of them are not back to school yet. Mm -hmm. And then some are actually watching. And these guys are always on their phone. They are always online. If they're not um, looking at the trending stuff on um, Instagram, they're checking out one video on TikTok or they're streaming one video on YouTube. Now, I want us to bring home a message to them. How can they build themselves? How can they build their own value base to make them see those celebrities, those influencers, as just a normal human being like you and I, but still maintain their own standard as well without going overboard? If you understand what I mean. Should I tell you the truth? They will not see them as normal human beings. That's <laughs> just <laughs> so. Yeah, why, no. why would they see them as normal? It's, see, that's why that's I said. Let me give you an example. Okay. Right? If, um, because I'm thinking about it really, if I was coming today mm. and, you know, I'd put up the banner on my page and say, I'm going somewhere, then you know, I'll do a short video like mm. early this morning. And then I come and say, okay, I'm going in, I'm about to speak and, oh, you know, do a lot of ba 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 Then you know that because I want to do that, I won't use a normal car. Yeah. I'll go and hire a car or bull or whatever so that the car can equate that, right? Mm. Now, they don't understand that what is not yours is not yours. Hmm. Fake life is expensive. Hmm. True. That's, in fact, that's my take for them. True. You see, fake life, it is very, very, very expensive. expensive. It is very, very taxing. Lies have short legs. Hmm. You have to keep up with the lies. So my advice to you is, we run, um, I run um, it a, a therapy practice, apart from the NGO. You okay. could come through the NGO to get counseling. Um, go, to any, go to our page on social media, drop a DM, or um, send us an email at CICDNGO at, at yahoo.com. And then, you know, somebody will talk to you. Or I run a practice. See, just rediscover yourself. Mm. That's, that's the only thing I'm going to say. Rediscover yourself. Because I know that y y y most of them will be looking and they'll be rolling their eyes and they'll be like, um, these people, they've come again. Mm. They don't What's want to what, 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 what are they self? saying? Mm. You don't know. They don't yeah. know. And then they'll go to your page to go and be checking and oh, Yes, it's nice to do all those things. But can you fund that lifestyle legally? Mm. I think that's the key word. Mm. Can you legally form the, the lifestyle. lifestyle even the people whose fathers had the fathers of the year <laughs> they are not doing all this thing. yeah they're not going far and overboard they are not doing are all this thing the low standard we know them mm. their parents are on instagram they are on instagram everybody is maintaining then you your father's name did not ring bell but sorry to bot it now do I you think understand. do you think Parenting has a, a role to play in all of this, or own bringing has a role to play in all of this. Well, uh, most of the parents are not even on social media. 
So as I said, the only the only way you can say parenting has a role to play in it is when the child has inner child hurts mm. or the child has inner child wounds. The child has issues that has not been dealt with in therapy. Mm. And so the child is trying to validate. That's the only thing that you can see. That's, that's the only way I can say, okay, parenting has a role to play in it. Because you're trying to give an illusion of who you you're are not. not. Exactly. And so the moment your phone falls down and breaks, or the screen just goes blank and you cannot do anything, you find out that you are in a panic mode. You are, we have to get oxygen to resuscitate you because mm. you're already collapsing. Mm. The moment you post and nobody is liking it, and, and that's what is giving rise to people buying followers, buying likes, buying comments, and you're doing all these things. I always say, and then you don't even know who your genuine friends are. Mm. <laughs> and then you have to keep up with the Joneses. Now, mm. it's not even keeping up with the Joneses. Keeping up with the Adamas, the Kemis, the Aishas, the... Um, I'm trying to, to I'm trying to cover all the states in yeah. Nigeria, but you get what I yeah. what I mean. I'm trying to cover all the states in Nigeria, so you're trying to keep up with them. And can you do what they are doing? I know that yes, yeah, some people are saying yes, let's do it. We will start, but can you really do what they are doing? I can remember some of those influencers that started like way back um, ten years ago, mm. nine years ago, who were very popular. Man, go and check their story. Now they are gone. Mm. Disappeared. Yeah. Oh, the new people that we are seeing, and they were seeing the other ones. Some of the other ones trying to um, rebrand themselves, yeah. repackage themselves, and oh, so I'll just say, please find out who you are. Find out there is this particular one that is coming to my mind. If you say that person is your role model, that person is actually repackaging, rebranding, and what that person is doing is in line with the person's. Uh, job that is giving the person money. Mm. You understand? So the person is in that space and the person is doing it and the person is able to do it. So if you say that person is your role model, that person has been able to find the person's self mm. a bit. And so even though the person is currently, the person is, I think, she, I don't know if the person is a millennial or a I don't know if the person is 80 a, a, something. A, a baby, uh, no, no, it has baby bloomer. Okay, I, yeah. I don't know where the person falls in, but the person is is doing repackaging. So those kind of people, they have discovered themselves. Mm. They have rediscovered themselves. And so they are using social media, they are using Instagram to build their personal brand. Brands. That is why you see them that they are relevant. But you see the other ones, I don't know what they are doing. So I'll only say, please, 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 we discover yourself. Have a social media fast. Ask yourself, what am, who am I, self? What exactly am I doing here? What, what exactly is that thing I want to do? And then begin to ask yourself, okay, how can I leverage on social media? Social media is good, yeah. but it takes on the character of the user. Amazing, amazing. You've said it all. And um, honestly, there's really nothing more I can say. But I, I need to ask you this question. I remember working in an organization and i had i once had a colleague that had this kind of lifestyle so it just it just fix it so that you have this um um there's this kind of mindset or perception about him i know one thing about my love that i take advantage of he will never ask you but he prefers you to come ask him so take for example now if you are in need of cash okay he doesn't have one, but he can go to any length to give you to make you feel like he's a big boy. And I deliberately take advantage of that. When I must, I notice that about him. The moment I notice that about him, I took advantage of him. Then I also have, I like a family friend who is also addicted to these celebrities. One is a popular guy, and I know that he just want to be like him. Mm. Now, how do these people break free? from this addiction because you said it's 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 no longer it's it you, you said it's 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 a, it's a mental health related issues so how do they break free of this to become their normal self and grow grow their life from that from that path okay so number one they must know that there is a problem the person must know that i have a problem and i need help there is no therapy that is effective if the person does not know that he or she needs help. Hmm, That's true. number one. Number two, let me use this example because when you're talking, this example came to my mind. Okay. You know, during Valentine period mm. and birthday period, mm. 
You know some people will order six cakes for themselves. <laughs> they will order flour for themselves. Mm. Put different names of different guys mm. on it. And then the, the cake delivery will be coming one by one. What's the issue with what's the office people problem? As you are cutting it, all of us we are eating off. it. Yeah. Ah. And then you will now be trying to prepare other people in the department because you cannot you cannot prepare other departments. It's your department people that know what's mm. going on now. And then you're preparing them. There is this particular person. Now this is off social media, but this is the root of where all these things started. She was she started doing this thing, and then a new guy stepped into the office single hmm. fine correct but two levels ahead of her so you know he's earning way more than her she actually liked the guy the guy like her hmm. but guess what happened the, when the guy wanted to find out about her everybody was talking about how different guys bring cake bring flowers bring chocolate bring valentine Guess what? The guy didn't ask her out. Because of all of those. Because, see, some, when you have a healthy self-esteem, hmm. everybody is following somebody. Why should I be on the queue? Hmm. Hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. So the guy just took his time. And maybe if he had gotten to know her, he may have really liked her. But that opportunity was not there because the guy just said, you know what, this is a no-go area. This is, this is the case this of you chasing no your, your destiny about... Uh, no go home. area. So you know what this guy did? Somebody else in that same office. Okay. Because he was there to relieve. You know, when they bring people in from other companies to relieve. So it's not like he is a staff, staff, staff. Right? Mm. So after a while, he will go back to his, his office. Own base, yeah. So guess what happened? This guy now started talking to another girl in the office who did not have the cakes and the everything. Now, is it, is it bad to have cakes? No. But you're giving people a perception that you have plenty of people that are interested in you. Whereas the girl did not have any single boyfriend. Hmm. She wasn't in a relationship at all. She was just she's doing just it. She's just lonely at the top. She's lonely at the top, but she's doing it so that people can yeah. feel that she has tears and she's mm -hmm. on point and mm -hmm. all. Anyway, the guy started asking somebody else out in the office. They, they, and when he now went back to base, he and this person started dating. And he got married to this person. Wow. So it was like another, somebody else in the office was doing something. And this other girl that he got married to, they were just gisting. And she now said, ah, that you, do you know that it was even you that my husband actually wanted to ask out and he wanted to um, date before he now came to ask me out. But you know, because ah, you, you have plenty of people now. And then, ah, so he just felt that, no, that there was no need. And then he got uh, married. He started asking me mm. out, and then we got married. And it's one day where I and he told me, and then I just started laughing. And oh, the girl could not open her mouth to tell everybody that all those things is her money and it's fake. And the girl felt so bad because she really, really, really wanted that guy to notice her. Mm. The guy actually noticed her, but guess what? He could not, he measure, could not up measure up to, up to her standard. Okay, now stop giving yourself flower and all because now you're in the office seven years, eight years down the line. You've been doing this consistently every year. If you stop now, people will say because she's getting older. Mm -hmm. That's the thought. People will say, ah, she's not getting older. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants no, her. Exactly. That's why she has stopped. Blah, blah, blah. And with this economy, can you keep it up? Mm -hmm. So I just use this real life scenario to paint a picture. Yeah. When you are looking up to somebody and you want to be like that person, you are not that person. The best of a photocopy is a photocopy. Mm. The best of an original is an original. Very true. Why don't you find out who you are? Why don't you find out what you are meant to do on earth? Why don't you find out your flavor? What is uniquely you? And use social media to amplify it so that people would look at you and you take on the good form of social media and people want to be like you. Every Gen Z want, want followers. Yeah. This is the easy way to get followers. Be you. Yeah. Don't You're be fake. Now. Because when you are fake and you fall, <laughs> you know why I like people on social media? <laughs> they will be singing your praise today. Mm. So if, as long as you are giving giveaway, mm. if you are doing giveaway, some people will still be supporting you, but they will be yabbing you at the mm -hmm. back. But you see, the issue is this. If you are not doing giveaway, and people are liking you, 
and then something happened one day. You returned in the wrong way. Mm. So they said all publicity is good publicity. Mm. <laughs> I have I know somebody mm. who trended wrong trending. Mm. When I saw it, my heart gave way. Mm. I left my house. I went to her house very early. Because I knew that this person will not be able to come out. You know, there's some training that you can't come out yeah. of your house. Mm. And I went there for just one purpose, to talk to her and then to just tell her, let's walk around your estate. Because if I didn't do that, she would go into a deeper form of depression. depression yes. So we had to come out, walk around your estate. I asked her, how do you feel? She said, nobody is insulting me. Nobody is stoning me. I said, yes. But you see that social media street? Mm. It's mm. brutal. It's, it's not for the week. <laughs> <laughs> we'll leave it at that. I'd say a big thank you to you, Chizoba Kune, who is the executive director of uh, Center for Individual and Child Development. Thank you so much for your time here. You've given thank us so you. much insight. And um, even though I don't live a fake life, at least I've learned something. Let's not, not to go live a fake life. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then, this is the bottom okay. of the section of the program. I hope you're from the entire production team. For my ex team producer, Debbie, would like to say a big thank you for being a part of the conversation. Don't forget, Monday is just a few days around the corner. We'll be back again. Hopefully, Debbie will be here and we'll have a wonderful time on the show. Keep watching. I brand digital. From to you, I'm blessed to say it's bye for now. Good morning. <laughs>